today, we graduate the third cohort of the Standard Chartered Women in Technology Incubator Program. This program was launched by Standard Chartered Bank globally a few years ago with the primary purpose of sponsoring and supporting women in technology. My name is Na Kukoko U and I'm an arts director and producer at SS Studios. SS Studios is a media production company established in 2019 and we are focused on video, photography and film production. My name is Hilary Widanama Dari. I am founder of Agritech startup Wonfliki. What we do is that we leverage drone technology and satellite sensors to provide affordable services like mapping, spraying, and analyzing the health of crops on farms for farmers. My name is Laura. I am the CEO and founder of Virtutor Online, which is Ghana's first online tutoring platform. So what we do is we connect students and tutors and they have their lessons on our platform. So we have a specialized online learning space which is tailored to making teaching um, engaging and effective. My name is Adriana, the founder of Recoplast. What Recoplast does is Recoplast is basically an innovative business that rethinks plastic waste into pavement bricks. So as we all know, plastic waste is generally an insurmountable problem the world is currently facing. My name is Maya and I'm the MD founder of MFSR. MFSR Ghana is an online property management company and um, what we basically do is provide property management and property brokerage services through the, our website um, www.mfsrghana.com. My name is Jessica Sedema Banu and I am founder of Brand Source Marketing Technologies. What we do is we blend technology, data and creativity to empower brands and then also marketing agencies to create unforgettable brand moments digitally for their clients. Shepa Omamenu Redin is my name, a software engineer. Supayesh Creative Hub is the name of our business. It's a tech hub that seeks to train young girls who would like to take up careers in tech or who would like to um, learn tech in general. My name is Mabel Ajima. I'm the team lead for Aggregate Farms. Aggregate Farm is an online platform that teaches everything agric. It's a free online learning platform. So you log onto the platform, you take courses in any agricultural products or service you want to venture into. We realize that most people have to pay lots of money and travel far just to get training and so aggregate farm is here to make that easy for you at the comfort of your homes or wherever you are you can always log in and access these courses the partnership between ashasi's ghana climate innovation center and standard chartered bank ghana is one that is strategic to unleash the young women entrepreneurs of ghana in technology and we're hopefully looking forward to some brilliant ideas and innovations. My name is Ivy Atre Ablo. I'm the founder of PV Farms. Over the past few weeks, I've experienced a whole lot of knowledge about how to grow my businesses and then having and um, taking courses online and then the in-person courses as well has given me knowledge and um, on fundamentals of financial um, accounting and it has helped me to manage my finances and my business operations. My name is Hajara Tsu Ahmed, the co-founder of Rural AgriHub Limited. My participation in the masterclass has been very helpful. The masterclass that influenced me the most is Women Entrepreneurship Transformation Program, facilitated by the executive director of GCIC. She taught us how to balance our work and family life. Amidst all the challenges women entrepreneurs face in Ghana. My name is Lucy Blay and I'm the founder of Legal Find. Um, what has stood out to me in terms of the classes and the um, sessions that we've taken has been the Women's Masterclass. Um, and uh, women in the marketplace and also the design thinking class. Um, those two have really stood out to me as practical and also really relevant to myself. In terms of how they've impacted with me, 
The uh, woman's masterclass has been helpful because I understood that a lot of the things that I've been anxious about has been something that other women have also been anxious about. Ruka explained to us about exogenous and endogenous um, bias, gender bias, and how to either um, uh, find a way around one of them and also finding yourself to remove, to remove those endogenous factors that uh, mentally affect your ability to be successful in, uh, in business. My name is Manuela Sechi and I am the founder of Musla. I'd say in all, overall, it's been a really amazing experience. I personally enjoyed the experience. I'd also say that the program or the session that had the most impact on me was probably the Women in Entrepreneurship one. I really loved the session. I loved being surrounded by such amazing community of women sharing stories, hearing stories and how we can improve what we do in the spaces that we're in. My name is Winifred, co-founder, CEO and clinical lead of White Valley Care. We have learned so much. For me, the most significant lesson will be what I picked up during our uh, masterclass with leadership and ethics in doing uh, um, business and starting up business. It was significant for me because I had never looked at what the implications of our business ends were. I learned to be more responsible as much as I am getting the rights that I get in my business. Through this um, masterclass, we actually sat down as a team and decided to resolve a problem that has been hanging with medical waste out of our activities as um, a medical facility. And so for me, that was very impactful and it's made us wiser in doing our businesses. My name is Natalie Fodjo and I'm the founder of Wonder Space. As a participant in the SC Women in Tech um, Incubator, Cohort 3, um, one of the major takeaways I've taken is that there's a difference between having a strategy and being a strategic thinker. You can have a strategy and check it once a year, um, but being a strategic thinker is an active, ongoing process. So I'm leaving as a strategic thinker. My advice to future participants is to learn the art of introducing your business. My name is Maliha Abu Bakari, the founder of Dagbani Cinema. One of the most significant and relevant lessons I have picked so far is that we don't make profit from onset, but that we need to build value on the product or services that you are rendering before profit would follow. And this particular saying is very relevant and critical to Tagbangle Cinema because it is something that requires a lot of resources and we don't have that from the beginning. And since we don't have that, we have to find every means and possible in making our product one of the best so that when we build value, people would be compelled to make us the first point of call when they are looking for entertainment. And when we become number one in entertainment, I believe the profit and monies that we are looking for would follow. My name is Omar Farouk Mubaraka, co-founder of Kodu Technology. And what we do is that we produce sanitary parts from fibers of plantain and banana. My standout moment during the entire incubation program was when I had a chance to meet the board chairman of Standard Chartered Bank. It was an inspiring moment. I had a chance to actually tell him what our company does, the solution we bring to the table. And as a Ghanaian company, we're actually looking forward to doing more and solving more. We wish to say a big congratulations to all 20 entrepreneurs for successfully completing entrepreneurship classes, master classes, and portfolio management support. So our five winners of the 10,000 US dollars grant money. We hope you use this money to scale up your businesses into multi-million companies.